The big problem I always face when I import so many assets is that I have so many assets. No problem. All you need to do is to select the asset you want to find, right click, copy the asset ID, then go back to Unreal Engine and select the Mega Scans folder or honestly any folder and you can just search in the content or the path. If it does not find it like now, it means that it did not export. And that's weird because I exported this like three times already. Because I already copied the asset ID, I can just simply paste it here again, search for it and click export. Hopefully this time it works. So here I'm getting successfully exported one asset, but nothing is happening in Unreal Engine. One way to work around this, if you want to force it, right click, go to files, make a copy of this folder, give it the same ID name so you can find it in Unreal Engine, go back to Unreal Engine, open the content browser and find Mega Scans folder, right click, show in Explorer, go to 3D Assets and here I will copy my asset. Now we get something, so here's the mesh, it's missing its materials, that's no problem because we can fix it manually. Press Ctrl V, there we go, here's the asset again. Let's fix the textures, so this is the material instance, it's looking good. If you want to see the thumbnails without opening the image, you can just right click on that thumbnail and you will see the image. So here we have the albedo, the normal and the mask. If you select any of these assets and press Ctrl V, it will take you to that asset folder. I'm gonna assign it here, assign the normal here and the mask here. Then I'm going to select my stair static mesh, double click on the static mesh here to open the static mesh editor. Then here in the material, just assign our material instance. In the word grid material, if you just paste the asset ID again, you're going to find that material instance. We click on it, there we go. If anyone is having problems with exporting assets from Quixel to Unreal Engine, also let me know and how you fix it. Regarding that export problem, I found, <laughs> I found out why. For some reason, even though I opened Quixel Bridge from this project, it still exported my stair to completely different project I have opened, which is this one. So here's my stairs. So here's a quick tip. If you want to use Quixel Bridge without experimenting bugs, try to have only one project open at a time. That's a tip for me and for you guys. You may ask, hey Yahya, why the asset ID is useful? Another use case scenario for this, right now I have my stairs set on medium and I do that while I am blocking out my environment. If I want the higher quality mesh, I can press Ctrl B, get the asset ID, then I can open Quixel Bridge, find that asset, then download the higher quality I want, then export it again. So that's one of the many use case scenarios. It's good stuff. Cheers.